Zara Omar is a qualified chef who decided to pursue excellence in her true passion, which happens to be the art of makeup. She believes that you are what you eat and what you wear, and offered to demonstrate her ideas in practice. Having already viewed her blog, Zaki accepted the invitation immediately. So let's join them. Popular wisdom suggests that careers are built on specialization and that 10,000 hours of deliberate practice will assure success. Zada Omar, on the other hand, sees no reason why her life should be determined by either or choices. She prefers to throw her energy into fashion and food as well as sharing these passions with her online readers and followers. Her lifestyle enables her to prepare a makeup tutorial in the morning and then prepare lunch for a special guest while rocking a fresh look for the season. She was putting the finishing touches to lamb meatballs when Zaki arrived. Food and fashion may very well be some of my favourite things. Add the two together and I'm in my element. Today I'm catching up with Zaida Omar not just in the capacity of fashion blogger but also in the capacity of trained chef. Zaida! Hey Zaki, come in! What are you making that smells so divine? Today I'm making lamb meatballs, which are extremely healthy and free range and organic. There seems to be a huge movement towards sustainability in food and fashion. Yes, and for food especially, I like to cook with healthy, free range ingredients especially and organic. Sometimes I like to grow my own vegetables, so at least I know where it's coming from. And how do we promote sustainability when it comes to fashion? What I like to do is thrift, and what that means is I like to shop at secondhand stores. Also, what my friends and I are doing soon is we're having a party where we bring stuff from our closet and we exchange it. So instead of purchasing from a store, we can just exchange. It saves money and it's like we get into each other's closets and it looks great. Would you like to see some of my favorite pieces. I would love to. Let's go. Wow. Here we have one of my favorite pieces. It's simple, yet you can do so much with it. And we're going to pair it with these, and that brings all the drama. <laughs> so I found this in my friend's cupboard, actually, and this I found at a thrift store in Melville. And this is so on trend right now. How cool is this? For you, what is your essential fashion must-have? This is cliched, but every girl needs a little black dress. And then for a lovely summer day, you need something printed, something pretty. And here we go. This is a cool like, maxi dress. I absolutely love those, and they give you so much length. What advice do you have for someone who wants to take some risks when it comes to accessories? What you need to do is you need to go all out, go wild, add something like this. Put on a chain, if you'd like. This is as wild as I feel sometimes. I feel like this would suit you. So I love food and fashion, but sometimes they're not the best of friends in terms of fitting into the fashion after eating all the food. How do you maintain a healthy attitude towards food? I think the most important thing is to not get bogged down by all these diet fads and choose something that works for you. I'm actually going to make something very healthy. Would you like to join me in the kitchen? You have to ask me twice. Look at all these wonderful textures and colors. Where do we begin? So we're beginning with the end. And the reason we're doing this is because we need some time. We need to let this chill for some time. What we're making is a glorious chocolate avocado mousse. Avo and dessert. This is for you to think that you're eating something unhealthy and delectable. But it's really healthy, but still tasty. Where do we begin? I've added in one glorious creamy avocado. And to that, I've added in some honey already. We're going to be putting one teaspoon of cinnamon, two teaspoons of cocoa powder, a glass of milk, and now I blend. That's so it. Too. Yes. Oh. So now that I've blended it into a silky smooth texture, would you mind helping me? Not at all. Okay, great. Go. Thank you. I don't know how much spooning I'm going to do as opposed to eating. This looks dreamy. Mmm. Hey, Zach, would you mind putting this in the fridge for me while I clear up? Okay. 
Zadie, you're not only a fashion blogger, you're also a trained chef. Where did your love of cooking come from? My love of food came from my mom and my grandmother. When I was a kid, I spent lots of time in the kitchen watching them prepare the most amazing meals. And that's what inspired me to want to become a chef. And what inspired the meal for today? I love Middle Eastern food and it's so healthy and vibrant and that's why I'm making falafel today. We're going to be starting with our chickpeas. So I've got ground seasoned chickpeas. We're going to add in our onion and garlic and then some Moroccan spice and a little bit of our herbs. Now the egg, and this is to bind the mixture. And I'm just gonna give this a mix. Can you see the green and how beautiful it is? And this is gonna show through when we cook the falafel. So it's gonna give it some great color. Oh my goodness, my mouth is watering. And lastly, we're adding flour to bind it all together. Now it's time to get your hands dirty. I can do that. Just mix it all together and then start molding. I love cooking with my hands. You need to be feeling all the textures of food. And then you can lick your fingers. Yes, you can. <laughs> is this the right size? Because we're doing a starter portion, that's perfect. But if you wanted it for a main or something, just increase the size of your bowl. Well, you seem to have things under control here, so I'm going to leave you to do this while I start the couscous salad. Awesome. I've added some dried herbs, seasoned with salt and pepper. I'm going to be adding in some grated carrot. And next is diced cucumber. Some dried apricots and some chopped parsley. Now for our pomegranate. Those colors look magical. I know, right? How are you doing with your chickpeas there? All done. I think you should go and wash your hands so you can dress the dessert while I fry these. Uber duper. Alrighty, now it's time to cook our falafel and I'm cooking this over a medium heat. We don't wanna cook these too much. We want them crispy on the outside and moist on the inside. These look about done, so I'm going to scoop them up and put them on some paper towel to drain. So Zaida, I prefer cream, but what is your healthy alternative to cream? So what you can do is whip up some coconut cream and keep it in the fridge. Ta-da! Are you done? Great, I'm also done. Let's go to the table. I'm so excited. Zaida, New recipes can be so overwhelming and complicated, but you've managed to make something so inspiring and so simple. What I've done is I've added some olives, hummus, feta, and you eat that with the pita. And what we've created was our falafel, our lamb meatballs, our jeweled couscous salad, and your delicious dessert. <laughs> and we're tying it all together with our lovely decor, which I've created. And as you can see, I've went with the whole mismatched theme. So my glasses are not matching, my plates are all different, and I think it ties in nicely when you want a relaxed evening. I feel like I have fallen into a palace in Morocco. Thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure cooking with you. Zaida brings her fresh sense of style to everything that she creates, and I, for one, cannot wait to see what she cooks up next.